So quite a lot of the brain turns out to be involved in navigation. So there's a particular bit of the brain called the hippocampus, which is being kind of seen as the central hub in the brain for navigation. And it turns out that bit of the brain for navigation is super important for general memory. What did you do yesterday? What did you do an hour ago? Is the same part. So there are other bits. So that sort of the hippocampus stores a map, we think, of the space you inhabit and you explore. But there's other bits of the brain that store habits. So if you're getting to work in the morning, you don't need to think about where exactly you're going. And there's another bit of the brain called the caudate nucleus that helps you do that. And in Alzheimer's disease, um, unfortunately, the hippocampus and the, particularly the area feeding into it called the entorhinal cortex appear to be early affected in the disease. So they compromise that kind of map-like ability to navigate and think about where you are in space. Um, and that sort of habit of how to find your way by habit sort of stays on for further into the disease. Um, so it's quite important um, to understand how these brain regions operate.